hello, hello. Welcome on into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. And I'm Matt. Today we have in front of us the Laird of Fintry and their single malt whiskey. All right, the Laird of Fintry is actually based on a real person made by uh, O'Kagan Spears Craft Distillery in British Columbia. It started in 2004. They're North America's only world-class distillery designation, which I know that's pretty cool. Good for them. Um, it's a tr it's a true farm to flask is what they call it. They actually grow all of their uh, barley and all their other crops right there on the farm around them, where they're just which is really quite cool. Um, so they made this is a highly allocated bottle that our friend uh, Jeremy Burns donated to us. We're very appreciative, and then he let us borrow the other one. So thank you very much, Jeremy. Thank really you. Really appreciate thank it. Thank you. Um, this is a hundred percent British Columbian malted barley. It's a single malt. You can only get it in a lottery. Um, it's aged in French and American oak, and it's based on the real story of the Fair of Laird of Finnerty, which is Captain James Cameron Dunwaters, because you need a really freaking long name. Yeah. All right. <laughs> he probably he was a big game hunter. He was really wealthy, and he loved scotch. So what he did is he would have private casks sent over from Scotland to his manor, which he lived in for 30 years in this huge estate, made it a working farm, all this cool stuff. And he had this actual, this is his label. So they went out, found his label, and they copied it to make this uh, whiskey and named it for him as he's the proprietor of this area. So it's very cool. And it was a joke because they called him the Laird of Finnerty because it really means basically, you know, landowner, lord, like, the, but in their, their Scottish show, they wouldn't want any words from the English because they, they're dirty English. So what can I say? <laughs> so it is what it is. So this is a 42% uh, of Sipper's Columbian single malt. So let's see, uh, let's see how it tastes. I can't say that I've had a British Columbia single malt yet. Me neither. Me either. It's the first time for everything. Ooh. Thanks, Canada. Canada oh, yeah. from the nose alone. Right. Canada is making good whiskey. Once again, keep it in Canada. Keeping it in Canada. So Come like on now. Thank God for Jeremy. He is allowing us to try this. I know that Daniel really loves this stuff. It's very hard to get, but completely this worth it. It smells so good. This is Speyside's territory all day yeah. long. Yeah. It's that bready malt, but it's also got a beer note to it, which I, which I noticed. It's, it's really kind of bready. It's kind yeah. Of, yeah, I was just about to say. That yeasty bready. That yeasty hoppy. Mm hmm. Did we say an age on this? It does not have an age statement that I could find. Um, okay. It can't be very old, though, just doesn't based smell on the color. It doesn't smell. It smells young. Mm hmm. But I was never able to find one. So I'm guessing just a few years old, my guess. All it says is it's bottled in 2018. Yeah, so. I'm guessing it has to be at least three. We know it is at least three. It's a candy called Whiskey in Canada, so we know it has to at least be three. But I'm guessing maybe like six be my guess at most. Five or six. But who knows? But if this anybody is, knows, let us know in the, in the, the comments is below strong for sure. In this one. Yeah, Definitely. It's butterscotch for days. Oh, yeah. yeah, it is. Butterscotch, banana, chocolate shavings, and banana, cocoa powder. I can't get the chocolate, but I can get the banana. Mm -hmm. Raspberries. It's like banana bread. Vanilla, cherries, caramel. It, this is this is slight, some complex, nice whiskey. Slight nutty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ugh, could spend uh, hours in there. Seriously, it's a beautiful nose. It really is beautiful. But I'm sure though. I'm the wondering longer, if it's gonna open up. Yeah. How yeah, much more it's gonna open and change. And, uh huh. Yeah. Well, I mean, and this is. This is far down the barrel or the bottle. Yeah, it is. So he did you know. He did tell me it was gassed. So mm -hmm. and he gasses every time you use it. So we, we should be good. Good. Good to know. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, it really, really it. does. Oh, oh my gosh. See Canada. This is what should come to this country. Mmm. Mmm. It's banana bread on the on the taste for me. Yeah, it really kind of is, isn't it? <laughs> it? It's got the strong malt. Of course, mm -hmm. you, you know, but it's got the yeast, it's got the bready, it's got banana for me. I get some nuts. It, mm. Mm, I get a lot sweet. of chocolate again. Yeah, it's very sweet. It's mm -hmm. very sweet. Mm. But I can't get past that banana. Mm. For me, at least. I mean, Hazel. the banana bread was pretty, pretty head on the nail, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's a little bit thin. Maybe it it's forty two percent, so it okay. is not really surprised. And and you can kinda of get some of the age, the youngness on mm -hmm. the taste mm -hmm. as well. And um, Oh, this is gonna turn into something magical in ten oh, years though. Yeah. yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Like so this this the soldier went around two thousand four. And they've only been making this whiskey for a few years, so it's this is gonna be really good stuff. I hope they're sitting on some barrels. I really do. I watched some of their videos. Their videos are awesome. They they have like thirty different spirits at this place. It was nice. really oh, wow. cool. It was they were it was pretty awesome. I can't remember the owner's name, but it was really 
cool watching yeah, the videos. Yeah, I can get behind this. I mean, mm -hmm. youngness in, included, I can get behind this. Yep. See what some water does. Yeah. I'm kind of interested. Hey, yeah, but I also get like coffee and hazelnut, caramel, vanillas. Or those baking spice. You know what? Chocolate, fro uh, chocolate covered frozen raspberries. But it is that malty, bready, and it still has that hoppy note. They must use a very hoppy uh, yeast, yeast when they're using with their their beer bread. They make their beer for it. I don't know. I, I really like it though. Oh, the yeasty, bready note, even just on the nose, uh, uh, kind of dominates as soon as the water goes in there. It's really? kind of amazing. Oh yeah. It, it, how how much it changed. I get the hops on the finish. Yeah, hops are on the finish for sure. And and it's almost like. You can almost imagine like the the carbonation while it's going down your throat with the hops. You know what this kind of reminds you, finish wise, is that Rars rye that we had with the hops in it from from uh, from just that finish. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How's the water taste? Uh, the water actually makes the the journey a lot more round and cohesive. Yeah. Uh, makes it a little bit more of a solid ball as it goes across your journey, uh, not spiky. Um, I enjoy that with the drop. That was really, really good. I I enjoy this in general. Mm -hmm. I mean, pass the water one down. Yeah. Pass the water one down. I want to know. Yeah. Oh yeah, that really. <laughs> it, wow. it changes yeah. like, the nose dramatically. It's very, very interesting how much it changes the nose. Oh yeah, that really accentuates the hoppiness. Mm -hmm. Smells like beer. It does smell like beer. But the journey is just no. It's good, but yeah, it's really it's smooth, really delicious, really round. I actually yeah. think I enjoy it more That's without tasty. the water. It's good, mm -hmm. and but I it changes agree it with you. It is, it is a lot more rounded. But as a person that's not huge into drinking beer anymore, I prefer it without the water because it doesn't bring. I mean, this has the the yeasty, the the hoppy on the finish, but yeah, that's a lot stronger. The hops kind of hit the forefront first, right? Sure. Right, and. Like I said, I put my nose up to it and I said, it smells like beer. Mm -hmm. and that's not something that I would reach for. Yeah. All but right. this, without the water, exceptional. All right, so, also very, very difficult, even more difficult apparently to get, <laughs> is the, apparently in Canada, they call the 375 a Mickey, which is really cool. I like the name of it, it's the Mickey. This is, a, this is their cast strength version. It's 56%, it's five years old, two row barley. Look at the color difference. And it's five years in the American Oak, and then six months in a Quail's Gate Fortified Old Vines uh, French Oak Barrel, which is a very, I don't even you know what, yeah, so it's some, read that one more time. This is a Quail's Gate Fortified Old Vines Fock French Oak Barrel. Yeah, Talk. I don't know. That's what the <laughs> website said. Not that I don't know. It sounds like some wild thing that they make. I don't know. It's pretty cool, though. Yeah, so let's go in and see and how this is. what did you say the proof on this is? 56, so 112. 112. Yay. And it's Yay. a cute little mini Mickey bottle, apparently, mm -hmm. which is very cool. A lot of the same oh, notes. Chocolate, chocolate, is, chocolate is so malty chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, chocolate right on the nose. Like, this it reminds is me of the Balconis rye. Oh, yeah. Mm. This is a completely different feast than, than the regular. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the vanilla and the oak and the cinnamon, the hops are so dialed back in the nose compared on this one. Because they're much more prominent. This is just so chocolatey. This, yeah, we'll have to like compare a, the Balcones to this. It for smells sure. like a coffee frappuccino. And the Cedar Ridge. And the Cedar Ridge, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, I have to pull those out. Cedar Ridge coffee malt. Man, I have to do that. Oh, oh it smells so I good. I enjoy the nose on mm -hmm. this. I'm, uh, All right, let's go. I gotta taste this. I gotta, it smells yeah. delicious. Oh, it's oh the same. I love that proof spike. Yes, the proof yeah. spike is great. The chocolate is right in the finish as well. Mm -hmm. It's oh, got yeah. your normal um, baking spices. Mm. It doesn't have the hoppiness. Mm -mm. I don't mm -mm. get the hoppiness. I get some of the yeast and mm -mm. the bready mm -mm. chocolate bread. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's rich and it's deep. Nutella bread pudding. Mm. Right? Like, oh, this is, yeah. This is like, yeah. Oh, it's um, holy Nutella. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. That's Nutella yeah. and chocolate, like oh. dark chocolate with Nutella. Oh yeah, yeah that's whole, oh that's just a great. That's that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, it's just spice. It's and it's on the finish. Got these nice spices and it's hops and it's yeah. effervescent. It's raspberries and stone fruits. Mm. Oh, it's creamy. This is excellent. Oh. Darn you, Canada. Butterscotch, caramel on the fish. Oh my gosh, this is freaking. Now I know why Daniel loves this crap so much. Mm -hmm. This stuff is amazing. 
Canada, really, really we, need, we need more of this. Like, this is what you should be sending to the world. This is amazing. Yeah, none of that other crap that you send. It's, yeah, you know, like freaking crap. crap. Water. Mm. I know, I don't want to. Um, oh, I'm scared. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Taking one for the team, man. Oh, you can, can do just... it. Mm, I love it. Oh, I love I'm it. really interested. Oh, I want to do some research on what what that's finished in that that type Yeah, of whatever this. Yeah, I don't know what this. Some you, kind of a. Oh, I guess I'm some kind of fortified kind of wine. wine. Yeah, yeah, fortified wine barrel. Uh, yeah, or late harvest wine barrel because that's what Canada. Is yeah, that's is true. Known for. I really want to know what a fuck French oak. Yeah, barrel yeah. Is. We'll we'll find out. We'll put in the comments what that is in particular. We'll find out for you guys for sure. They didn't cover that in level one. No, we're no. sorry. That's yeah. Even our wine song here doesn't know, so it's even more crazy. <laughs> we'll find out though. How's the water treated? I'm on the on the nose, the uh, malt note, or I'm sorry, the, the beer note kind yeah. of shows back Come up back a little up. more. Mm. I haven't gone past that yet, but that doesn't excite me. Mm -mm. Guess we'll find out together. Oh yeah, it's mm. hop, it's chocolate hops. Oh. And well, I'm not a fan of chocolate beer, so. But on the palate, it does separate the oils, and it does make the flavor journey a little bit different. Uh, the flavors cling to Whoa. your tongue for a little bit longer. The finish is a little bit longer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the hops are there. But the hops kind of show yeah. back up. Chocolate hops. And it's yeasty, but not the good kind of yeasty for me. Like I would say it's the good kind of yeasty. I enjoy it. Uh, I, I feel like the youngness kind of comes out more. Yeah. I yeah. agree with well that. With that drop. It was masked by the proof before, but when you put that drop in there, the youngness kind of shows back. Yeah, yeah I enjoy it without the water. Better. Yeah, mm -hmm. without the water, totally. That cast strength, that is beautiful. Yeah. That I can see, yeah. We need, to, we have friends in Canada. Yeah, we, we do. We need them to help us out. You know who you are. Yeah, we, we know, you know exactly who we're talking about. <laughs> friends in Canada. Um, and help. we're probably going to see some of you next month. That's so. Right. so help us out. If you, if you, I know it's also on the website, but if you happen to have an extra, more than happy to take Think it off of your, your friends hands. in Texas. That's right. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so freaking good. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right, well. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Yay. Yay, Canada. Yes, for <laughs> once. Yay, Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Keep on crusading for better Canadian whiskey in your glass. Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is freaking delicious. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. All right, I'll move it to the wrong cast. Oh, 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 oh,